All right, so we're gonna work on this chainsaw powered scooter today. And I'm trying to figure out everything that I need to get done. So the first thing is I need to secure this lid down with hinges, I think is what I'm gonna use. So we'll do that. The next, the muffler. Um, this one broke while I was running it. The engine nearly like self-destructed because I did something stupid with it. So exhaust needs to be done. We also need to finish the throttle setup here. You can see I have a cable hooked up, soldered right there. But when I pull the lever, it doesn't return. So I think just a simple spring on this should take care of that. And the only other thing I can think of is also right here. It's the chain is very loose, um, as you can see. All right, so I went ahead and got two things out of the way. Um, I did the hinge right here. Still a little wobbly, but I'm not too worried about it. And I also fixed the throttle to where it returns properly. It doesn't go to full throttle at the moment, but it returns. And uh, just for testing this out, that's all I'm gonna focus on at the moment. All right, so the scooter is finished pretty much now. You can see these terrible welds I made here. Um, I just kind of threw it together, didn't really care, plus I'm not very experienced in welding yet. So there's the muffler. I just decided to kind of put all that back together to a degree and tighten the bolts back down and hope it doesn't happen again. The hinge. Over here we have the throttle, which doesn't go full throttle, but it does return now. You can see the spring set up right here. And then the chain tensioner, which I just finished. Um, it doesn't make a huge difference. You can see actually when I move it, you can see the chain, the tensioner doing that whenever more tension gets put on it. Um, so I think the spring is just really weak in there. I kind of had to modify it a bit, but I'm not super worried about it. It did, it has made a difference. I kind of rolled it around here a bit and the chain hasn't tried to fall off yet. So hopefully tomorrow we'll put some gas in it and take it for a test ride. Okay, so we're about to give it a test run. I filled it up with gas. And we don't have a choke on this, so I'm not really sure how easily it's going to start. might be kind of difficult, but we'll try and figure it out. And to be honest, I don't really know what to expect. This thing's kind of sketchy, but we'll just see what happens. This is really difficult to uh, start just because like you can't like, I don't know, it's not like a motorcycle, you can't like drop a clutch. It's just always engaged, so it's pretty difficult. I just popped the chain off because I lost the nut on there. I just remembered that I didn't tighten that down last night, so I'm going to go find that and fix it and go for it again. All right, got that bolt. Tighten down with a lock washer now. And then I'm gonna try this big hill instead and see how far I can get. Starting to get much closer. to work out here. Gotta find that other piece. Here it is. Working like it should, except for the drivetrain 
Uh, I gotta go find this gear now. But yeah, the drivetrain just keeps popping off. It might just be too loose still. Not really sure. And this keeps coming off, so I'm gonna put some Loctite on that. I gotta go find that gear. So I found all the parts, and I'm just taking a look around this thing, looking at what's going wrong, maybe. And I've actually found a couple of issues or design flaws, I guess you could say. Um, first issue is that makes contact right there. That's really wobbly and can make contact. I'm guessing it is making contact, which is what with the momentum that this is spinning, when it hits that, it just pops this off. So, not sure about that. Another thing that looks like it went wrong is the gears here. It looks aligned at that angle, but in person, this is further out than this. So, I'm guessing something bent under all that pressure, because you have to jump on it to get the back wheel to even catch to spin the motor over. So I'm guessing something bent with all that pressure down on it. And then also, mufflers coming loose. Okay, so there's that. Um, you can see just a couple of clips where it was it was pulling and yeah this is kind of scary it's a lot faster than i expected it to be uh probably because it's directly connected in this gearing i don't know as you can as you saw it got caught on this water down here with this slick stuff and i gave it gas and it just slipped out from under me here it is right here with the chain scrape the driveway so yeah that was kind of sketchy but anyways obviously the only problem I'm having is still it's throwing the chain and it just gets worse the more I ride it so that tells me something's just flexing I think and uh, getting out of shape because I did do some bending with the crowbar previously just to kind of I noticed the engine was tilted this way from the pressure and it might be again actually so I'll just have to bend it back and I might weld like a rod right here and down here just to help keep it from flexing over again and uh, getting out of line but yeah this thing's kind of sketchy Not with the water. Oh, dang it! <laughs> okay, so as you just saw, this thing caught on fire. It was completely my fault because I didn't really bother to protect any of the gas lines. I just said screw it and welded it. And sure enough, the spark eventually caught on the gas line and it caught on fire. It was actually a really big fire. Um, at first, but by the time I pulled the camera out, it was dying down. As you can see, these fuel lines got burnt to a crisp. They just squeeze fuel out of them now. They're disgusting. Um, there's that burned off. The plastic piece tub melted right there. This didn't really take that much damage, just a couple burn marks. Let's see what else we got. This burned, 
basically all the fuel lines burned so those are just gonna have to be replaced this wire part of the kill switch it's just crispy um i'm not really sure if it's damaged or not i might just replace it anyways <laughs> This strip right here is 16.2 miles an hour. So we're gonna wrap this video up here. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope it uh, was very interesting. I know the process was for me. So uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any suggestions uh, for this build or any other builds or any type of video you would like to see, just comment. And we'll see you in the next one.